New tonight, the state transportation director says he hopes to have speed enforcement cameras up and running as early as this summer. As our Daryl Huff reports, lawmakers say public resistance to photo enforcement has fallen as fatalities rose. The experience of the red light cameras have given lawmakers a lot more confidence both in the technology and in public acceptance. No, there hasn't been um, any like large outpouring of opposition from the public. The speeding is the biggest cause of fatalities on the system. The state says speed has been a factor in half of recent fatalities, while police resources to enforce limits are stretched thin. The chair and vice chair voting aye, Representative Ayu. Aye. So today, the House Transportation Committee unanimously approved the Senate bill to give the speed cameras a test run in school and construction zones. But we also want to make sure that what does get implemented um, is digestible and works. So that's why start in a few small key school zones and make sure things work uh, and see where we go. I'm really happy that the speed cameras are moving forward pretty well. would love to have um, this be expanded. Into the state transportation director asked the House to take the limits off the program. He says as soon as it's legal to give speeding tickets by mail, he will use the speed reading capability of existing red light cameras to catch speeders as well. So you could see those impacts occurring very quickly. We would give the 60 days of education first, the 30 days of, of warning before we start citing in those areas. And we should see a marked decrease in speed, especially in the school zones areas, very, very quickly. Sniffin also said noise cameras, which are being shipped to Hawaii now, could also be used for speed enforcement. So he's picturing a very wide net of high-tech policing. There is a police policeman on every corner that we have these cameras on. The system would cite the owners of the cars, even if they're not driving. But unlike the unpopular van cams, police officers will use the video to issue the ticket, not automatically issue citations at low speeds. Do you make sure that people are only ticketed, for example, when they go five or 10 or maybe even more miles per hour over the limit so that you're not on the cusp of getting like a one mile per hour over uh, kind of ticket? Just because they agree on a concept doesn't mean that speed cameras will be approved this year. There's a lot of details that have to be worked out before the session comes to an end. Reporting from Palama, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.